So I'm mashing my potatoes. They've boiled. I put a half a cup of milk in here, a half a stick of butter. It's mashed potatoes after all. You need to have a little butter. And I have one more little treat on, uh, to show you how to make really yummy potatoes. I don't even know if I've told you about this one. The secret. The secret the ingredient. Secret. So you're going to get the spinach yeah. going, right? Yeah, okay. it's like two pounds of spinach. Yeah, well, about, we About, I mean, maybe not quite. But. You know how it's going to collapse. It always collapses yeah. into practically nothing. And I'm just peeling this last bit of potato. If it's too hot, just pull this, and you can just easily take it right off. And that's the beauty. I, that's why I don't like to peel potatoes. For the most part, I like to get them done afterwards. <clears throat> as little work as possible. All right, that's great. And then I'll just cut them in half, take a little bit of this off. And see, is that boiling too hot over there? Well, it's boiling, but the butter's not really melted yet. So. Okay, so just mix it around. Yeah. All right, potatoes go in. We start to mash. Hopefully, these are beautiful Yukon gold potatoes, I think, because they have that gorgeous color to them. And we'll just start mashing. And let's see, my potato masher. I'm just gonna get it going and make sure. Ooh, maybe these are, are they underdone? hard. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, but you want them chunky, right? Yeah, that's that's right. the whole point. So they should it be slightly is. Mine underdone. Are chunky. No, I'm only kidding. All right, all they right. They should anyway, not be slightly underdone. I have ricotta cheese. My mom, when I was growing up, always put cottage cheese in our mashed potatoes. Does that sound weird to you? It, well, you know, I love I'm it. not sure if it sounds weird because I think I remember a few years ago, like six years ago, you told me to put cottage cheese. Yeah. In my mashed potatoes. And I do that a lot. It makes it so good. So then one day when we were having our wonderful Italian meatloaf, my husband said, I want to put ricotta cheese in there. And I thought, ooh, that sounds like the greatest idea. Okay. So that is steaming. Now, should, if you, have, you don't have a top for that. I don't, but normally I guess you would cover this. It has the water that was clinging to the leaves. So since I do love these chunky, and we've all gotten used to chunky mashed potatoes in my house. They're better that way, really. They're so good. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now notice how quickly that is collapsing. That's the thing about steamed spinach. Don't put the top on, walk away, answer the phone, come back. You have mushy spinach, and that's what people don't like. You just want to barely collapse it. And then all I do is just season it up with some salt and pepper and olive oil. This is great here. I think I just need some salt and pepper. Can you yeah. hand me the pepper grinder or just put some salt the in grinder? there too? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. And I'll maybe dump some salt. Thanks. All right. And this is like done, right? I yeah. mean, I don't think it needs to go anywhere. And that's than the that. thing. When you eat spinach like that, it's tender. All the liquid is still inside is the leaf. Is this wine or olive oil? That's olive oil. Oh, okay. I don't know. It doesn't matter if it's wine. <laughs> Add a little wine or olive oil. Whatever okay. you want. So my dish is done. My Yours dish is, is done. done. We are ready to eat. I'll Let tell me you get what. the. You're going to get them? Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hungry for more? Click here for more great recipes. And to subscribe, click here. Check back every week for more craveable recipes, leave a comment, and tell me what you think. And don't forget, head over to our other channels for Everyday Food with Sarah Carey, Martha Stewart Weddings, and the Martha Stewart Channel.